Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I just want to do a quick breakdown of Comlex, my experience with it, you know, how I prepared for Comlex, some high yield topics that I saw um, frequently come up on practice exams and on my own Comlex, and just some general tips and advice for those of you preparing to take Comlex. So I actually took my Comlex about three days ago now. Um, it feels extremely good to be done with Comlex. However, I don't feel like great about my performance on Comlex. You know, after you take a test, you always remember the questions that were very difficult or the questions that you weren't quite sure of or the especially the questions where you narrowed it down to two answers and you just didn't quite know which one it was. So after my Comlex, just probably like everyone else, I went into the first aid book and on the internet and was looking up questions and answers that I wasn't 100% sure of during my test. And long story short, of the things that I was unsure of, it seemed like I got about half of those wrong and I got about half of those right, um, which makes sense when you narrow a question down to two answers. I mean, it's a 50-50 shot. And it seems like I got about half of those correct of the ones that I actually looked up. But that being said, I wanna to talk to you guys about how I prepared for my Comlex Level 1 now, this may not be the best video on how to prepare for your board exams. Um, obviously, I'm going to be talking about, you know, what I did and what I did may not work for you guys. And, you know, what you guys do may not work for me or anybody else. So um, take this video with a grain of salt and use the parts that you guys find useful and helpful and just basically disregard everything else. So the main way I ended up studying for Comlex was through practice questions. And I think this is the best way of actually practicing for an exam, whether it's boards or medical school exam. Um, doing practice questions helps train your mind um, how to go about, you know, thinking about questions and, you know, picking through confusing answers, conflicting answers. You know, a lot of the time, all of the answers are actually correct in some sense and so you need to figure out like which one is the best answer and the only way of really getting good at that is by practicing and doing practice questions um, and so if you guys didn't watch my most recent video which I'll link down below um, I talked about how I did almost 6,000 practice questions now, those practice questions weren't nearly all for OMM and specifically for Comlex. Um, you know, I started studying for step one and all of that content, which is very similar to the content you're going to see on Comlex. Um, and just to give you guys an idea, about 20% of your questions on Comlex are going to be um, OMM related. So viscerosomatics, Chapman's points, uh, musculoskeletal, that stuff is all... Um, OMM and the rest of your exam is going to be the same stuff you're going to see on step. So you guys can prepare for about 20% of your questions to be specifically on OMM related topics. So the question banks that I used, I used a little bit of AMBOSS at the beginning. AMBOSS is a pretty difficult question bank in my opinion. Their questions are very detailed and I think it's a little bit overkill for what you're going to actually see on your step and your complex. Um, so I only did about five to six hundred questions on AMBOSS and then I switched over to UWorld and I essentially did the entire UWorld question bank which is about 3,600 questions and then after UWorld I essentially did a question bank that is specific to DO students and for the Comlex which is called TrueLearn and if you guys want to get access to TrueLearn um, I will leave a link down in the description. If you guys use that link, you're going to save like 25 bucks or something like that. So go check out TrueLearn if you guys need help with more OMM style um, practice questions. But TrueLearn, honestly, is actually a really good question bank. But I don't know what you guys have heard about TrueLearn. If you're a DO student, you've most likely heard about this question bank. Um, I personally think it was a pretty good question bank to help you prepare for OMM. Um, the one thing that I really liked about the question bank that I didn't see in any of the other ones was TrueLearn actually lets you search for specific topics. So if you only want to do questions on Chapman's points, you can just type in Chapman's points and click through a bunch of questions and those are the only questions that they're going to ask you. And so 
That was really helpful. The other big topic that I did a lot of questions on was counter strain. So tender points and the positioning for specific tender points and counter strain treatments. So these are all things that you're gonna be able to search directly within the TrueLearn question bank and to be able to do only questions on those particular topics. So for those of you that are studying for STEP and then you're gonna immediately cram for the next week before your COMLEX exam, this really comes in clutch because you don't wanna be wasting your time doing practice questions on other body systems when you've already been doing that for the last however many months, five, six months. You wanna specifically target OMM style questions. So Chapman's points, viscerosomatics, um, counter strain, HVLA. You wanna only do questions on those types of things. So guys, those are the three question banks that I use to ultimately get up to about 6,000 practice questions over the last six months. Um, basically, I did the questions and I made a document with all of the high yield things that I got wrong, so things that I kept seeing over and over again. Um, my document, I just made it on a Google Doc. It is about 40 pages. Um, and periodically, I would go through that document and just refresh my memory of those topics that I got wrong. I'd have my wife quiz me from that document. Um, and then the other thing that I would really recommend is to use flashcards. So a lot of you guys are using Anki. That's great if that works for you continue using Anki. If it doesn't, which I am not an Anki person, but I do like flashcards. Anki is just a little too complex for me. Um, I don't know what that says about me and becoming a future doctor if I can't figure out Anki. Hopefully they're not related, but if you guys prefer flashcards but you don't want to use Anki, there's a really great flashcard service called Brainscape. It's free but they do have an upgraded version. Um, and if you guys want to invest in that upgraded version, I will leave a link down below with a discount code so you guys won't actually have to pay full price for that. And it's really cheap anyways, it's like under 10 bucks. But essentially Brainscape works the exact same as Anki. Um, you are presented with a flashcard and then you can rank how comfortable you feel with your knowledge of that particular topic. So. If the flashcard pops up and you're like, I don't quite understand, you can rank it from one to five. Five being you immediately knew it. One means you have no clue what the answer is. And then Brainscape automatically has their software programmed to where you will see that card more frequently. So it's very, very similar to Anki. In my opinion, it's way more user friendly. Um, it's visually more appealing. It's easier to use and it does have that spaced repetition that everyone loves about Anki. So the last main resource that I used to prepare for my Comlex exam was a YouTube channel called Dirty Medicine. Now, Dirty Medicine is awesome. If you guys are not using Dirty Medicine, after you watch this video, you need to go over to Dirty Medicine's channel and use it to prepare for STEP and Comlex. But he specifically has a playlist for Comlex watch the entire playlist. It's like 20 or 30 videos. They're not very long. Watch them on two times speed, but it's essentially everything you need to know for the OMM portion of Comlex. But ultimately the great thing about Dirty Medicine is all of those difficult topics that your med school professors literally just could not teach you in an easy to understand way. He is going to go over all of those complex things, make them very easy to understand and it's, it's gonna be a game changer, guys. It's gonna save your butts on your Comlex, on your STEP exam. All right, guys, so that is essentially how I ended up studying for Comlex and ultimately for my STEP exam as well. Practice questions, flashcards, you know, repetition, and obviously using the first aid book, but the first aid book isn't gonna necessarily help you guys too much for Comlex. They do have a musculoskeletal um, section in first aid, but it's not really gonna help you guys for the OMM section of Comlex. Now this is the best part of the video because I'm gonna be talking to you guys about some very, very high yield topics that show up all the time on Comlex, um, on practice questions. These are things that you guys need to know. Um, so definitely pay attention to this part of the video. So the first thing that you may not actually think of is, and I saw this on both for STEP and for Comlex, is they want you to know about 